Hi, I'm Brian with ericksontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to discuss how hot water dissolves salt. So the main reaction here that's going on, or the main interaction that's going on, um, deals with the breaking of different bonds and then weak bonds or interactions forming between the individual molecules. So we're going to look at um, what salt, what the bonds of salt and water actually look like and then how they interact. And then later we'll discuss what heat might do um, to factor into the equation. So first, salt, as we know it, table salt, is just sodium and chlorine. And it's these uh, two elements form ionic bonds with each other, which means the electrons are shared unequally. Um, sodium gives up an electron, making it par positively charged, and the chlorine accepts that electron, making it negatively charged. So salt is really just a combination of sodium and chlorine ions that are connected into solid structures. Water, on the other hand, is a type of covalent bond, which means that the electrons are shared, un are, are shared, and it's a polar molecule, so the electrons are shared unequally. Oxygen um, tends to um, really like electrons, and hydrogen doesn't really hold on to its electrons too strongly. So the oxygen tends to hug the electrons a bit more in, in that bond. And the net result is that the part of the molecule with the oxygen tends to be partially positively, or partially negatively charged, I'm sorry, and the hydrogen part is partially positively charged because it's given up its electrons. So now what happens between the two is you have your, part, your positively charged sodium, um, and that interacts with the partially negative parts of water, so the oxygen end. And then at the same time, the chlorine ions um, interact with the partially positive hydrogen on water. And by reacting with, or by interacting with water, the uh, salt ends up being pulled apart and thus dissolves. So heat is just a measure of the amount of kinetic energy in a system. And as you increase heat, there's more energy. So you're going to increase the, the speed at which all these molecules are traveling and interacting. Um, the odd thing about salt is that by increasing the heat, you do increase the rate, but you don't change the amount of salt that can actually dissolve in a solution. So heat increases the process, but doesn't change how much salt can dissolve. This has been a brief discussion of how uh, salt dissolves in water and, and heat's impacts on dissolving.